Hey guys, it's yo guys, Plume Darcher here, and today we're gonna be doing a arena one v one, but this time it's it's a tutorial, so uh, it's on an actual person, not an AI like last time, and so we have Crash Over Overdrive versus I don't know how to say that dude's name, and I don't want to try. Well, I know I I can try, but like I don't I don't I'll say blue and red because that's pretty simple. So blue here, um, he's lost couple of games. I don't know what he's going to do this game. Hopefully it's better. Alright guys, so let me switch to Red's point of view. Ah, so Red right now is on his lumber. That's pretty good. I'm going to go to Blue now. Let's see what he's doing. He is a little behind I think. Is that, is that true? No, they're actually the same bill count. Never mind. Okay, so oh, oh my goodness. Is this is this real? Is this is this real life? Oh my goodness. Oh GG folks. GG folks. That's that's what you call stealing. Just don't screw up, man. Like you're doing it against a beginner, bro. Don't screw up. Well, pretend it's a beginner. Oh, okay. Can he actually do it? Can he, Oh, no, 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 no. Is it is it real? Is it real? This is real. This is real life, folks. This is not this is not not real life. That's real life. Holy crap. Now red will be like, "Where's my boar at?" And no, it's not anywhere because oh, that that's what you call skill, guys. It's not luck, it's skill. Uh, there's a difference. Except uh crash here is a little uh, little uh how do you say it? I can't really describe it, guys, but that was that. That brought tears to my eyes. Literally. It's not like I have onions next to me. He is yeah. counter stealing. He is counter stealing. <laughs> oh, he's gonna try to steal now. Okay, but you have to cut him off. Oh, you can see him from about a mile away. Is it possible? Can you do it? Oh, that was that was a bad idea. Now get out of here. Let's go. Okay, so what? That, that was crazy. That was just crazy. Um, now crash. Obviously, red had to micro that, and now red's at a disadvantage with less what one one bore, and he can't get another one now. And guess what? The good thing for crash is now that bore has less HP, and now they'll be easier to kill. Like what was what was that dude thinking? Although I would, as Crash, try to go for more of an economy this game, actually, instead of a rush. Like the best you should try to do is defend. I actually, you know what? He's going to do it with Castle Drop. My bad, I forgot. Well, this tutorial is going to be of a Castle Drop, so he's definitely have to go on the offensive, but also will have to manage his economy. Uh, Crash is pretty pretty good at Castle Drops. Uh, he plays with the mines a lot, and that's what I play with a lot. So we're pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good friends, and pretty good at the mines. Um, although he can be prone to making a bit more mistakes than you might think. Sometimes he does retarded things, like building watchtowers in the enemy's base, even though completely failing. But you know, people do all kinds of things these days. You can't really, uh, can't really uh, tell him not to. He's gonna go for three vills on stone, and now looking at. Is he going to try to steal the other board? Well, you really can because Red already took it. Oh, but he's doing more, more scouting. He find the, he finds the uh, secondary gold, and also he's really close to the secondary stone. Has he found the relics yet? He's found two. Uh, the relics are pretty close to each other. They're pretty concentrated in one area. More of them are near Red. However, if they're near Red's deer source, actually. They make actually um kind of a weird, weird hexagon shape. Um, so if you try to go in a hexagon, except that would probably be the correct route if you're trying to go for relics. All right, well now that Crash has just gotten three boars, fantastic playing by him. You can see he's really trying to snowball this game in the early. But you know, there's a few things about that that are really risky. You really um focus more on micro than the actual gameplay sometimes uh and then you rarely really um oh but now he's gonna get the boar so that's that's good as weird as as close to the scores look it'll really kind of be noticeable in feudal age because now red has to go onto farms 
farms, and he doesn't have enough wood to keep sustaining farm production. He's at 24, don't get me wrong, and Crash is also at 24, but actually now it's 25 for Red. Um, what can I say? That's, that's crazy, that's crazy. Um, how many bills is this? That's five. Alright, he has enough on berries, so now he's gonna, probably going to move on to gold. No, he's going to move on. No, I forgot this is a castle drop. My bad, guys. You can correct me if you want. Um, that was kind of stupid of me. But now with the third boar. Oh, God. That, that, is, that is some good food for Crash. So, guys, I've successfully unpaused. And there we go. Now we can see the castle is up. But what? This is supposed to be a castle drop, Plumed Archer. Come on, man. Well, this is a castle drop with plumed archers. As you can see, my name, my YouTube channel, of course, it's plumed archers. That's what this channel is all about, right? Well, not really. As you can see, now he has to rely more on defense. This is originally going to be a castle drop, don't get me wrong, but some games can't go the right way sometimes. He's definitely not going to lose this if he plays it right. He has to boom because he's he's not yet... Okay, so Red is pop cap right now. He's going to build a house. And he's also building a gate in front of him. Okay, so. Alright, so Red, right now, at his pop cap, and finally he's built a house. He doesn't see too much of blue, although we see his barracks and his market. Good scouting done by Red. Good. He has the advantage right now. However, Crash Overdrive with the castle. He's going to bring out the plumes soon. I don't recommend bringing out the plumes right now. Try to get the upgrades. You know how it goes. And, yes, these plumes will be ready after the upgrades are done, and he's already gotten fletching. He's going for his gold, secondary gold right here, but his villagers are idle. Um, so now, as you can see, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna go for the ultimate, ult, that, that's ultimate destruction right there. Um, I don't think, can they see the castle? No, they cannot see the castle, they don't know what's in for them. They don't know what's in for them. The plumes, the skirms, whatever's coming from Crash Overdrive. They cannot see anything that he's making. Do you think Red still has the advantage right now, even though we can't see the castle? Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out really soon. Oh, there we go. You're in for the surprise of your life. There's a castle, and there's plumes. There's plumes. Back out now. You idiot. You are an imbecile. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy good. By crash, will that give him an advantage? It certainly does. Scores doesn't matter right now. What? Oh, but the relics do. Now Red has changed his plan to get all the relics. Now crash, you should probably go for some relics too. If I were you, I'd probably go for that too. However, um, that's great. That's great. You're playing defense, and that's what's gonna. Oh, he's going for the other gate now. That's kind of stupid. Although, yeah, okay, well, that's kind of stupid, though, honestly, if I had to say anything about it. Like, I get it, but, and eh. Okay, so, you're gonna have to play a lot of defense, build an own dis defensive workshop if I were Crash right now. Um, that's what I would do. But I think he's got it in for them. I think this, this should be good. I think this should be. Well, the battle has gone to Imp, guys. You see the score lead. Oh my goodness, Yogoro Mori is slowly, oh my god, this is crazy. Remember when I said this was going to be a castle drop? I lied, I didn't know it was going to go like this, holy shit. Oh, if I was Yogoro Mori, I would probably be concerned because now Crash's score has risen up. That was like a thousand score, like that little score boost right there. Holy crap, now he's, he's going for it. He has Elite Eagle Warriors, he has El Dorado, holy crap, that, that's good, that's good. I kind of believe in Crash right now, like kind of. Although the Arbalests are creeping up on him a little bit, I believe in Crash. It's not like a, like a, oh my god, this actually, does he have all the infantry upgrades? He does, except for the attack ones, he has like everything, that's great. Oh, the advantage, it doesn't matter that you have all the relics, screw that, you don't even have a castle up. Oh my, he does not have a castle up. He's mining the stone. You know the stone from the main stone he has? He has no, he has no castle up. That's where you get the advantage on him. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> I am so hyped right now. 
Like, I swear, I'd be like one of those fanboys who just saw Aishwarya Rai. Like, what the hell, man? Dude, you're you're killing it. You're killing it. Come on, keep keep putting on the pressure. I swear to God, this is the, one of the most hyped I've the most hyped I've ever been in a commentary from my YouTube channel. Just because I never really talked about how hype I usually get. Holy crap! I am stunned. What the hell was Crash Overdrive doing this whole time? Oh, you know, he's just doing a comeback. You know. He has tons of idle bills though. I should, uh, yeah, no, he's four. Never mind. That's that. No, he's he's doing really good. I'm not gonna put him down anymore. Holy shit! Well, it uh, looks like all those years that I put Crash Overdrive down, he's he's finally de he's finally denied. Why the hell don't you go go for Cavaliers? You have freaking like ten thousand relics. You go. Oh, now he's going for knights. Oh, now you can get the you can get the monastery right now. Okay, send some more archers to your rams and boom. That's like that's like. What I think is what I'd do, honestly. Wow. Wow. I'm clapping because that's what an Indian guy apparently is supposed to do. I have no clue. Alright, guys, I'm back. And the, the score has kind of gotten a little more control. Oh, but no halbs from blue. This might be this might be his downfall. This might be what it's all coming to right now. And wow, wow. The Cavaliers are what's gonna really take him down. Wow. Although Red has kind of gotten harassed from his economy a little bit, it's nothing to be ashamed of. He's he's now trying to get control back in this game. Like I told you, Crash, you need halbs. That's the only way you will win is with halberdiers. That that is really all you need. Like I get that you want to make eagles and shit, but halberdiers. All right, you finally researched it. That took you like ten years. Now we gotta take control of this game again. Yes, and now they're pouring in. Oh, the beauty of halberdiers. Just how good they do. And now I'd like to say it's probably GG if he keeps pushing. If Crash keeps pushing, makes an offensive castle, makes some traps, makes some eagles, makes some plumes, makes some skirmishers, it's over. I'd like to say it's over, but now he has to go more to eagles. He has the gold and food, so he needs to waste that or use it on eagles. Because eagles will be good to sweep through and raid the economy of the opponent. Wait, does he have his relics back? Oh, okay, he's gonna get his relics back, I think, so. Not a big deal, but if you get in his base, get through the walls, and get to his wood line. If you get to his woodline, you need some rams to get rid of the walls, of course. But if you get to his woodline, kill everything? Oh my god, that's GG. And as you can see, guys, that's how you pull it off. He is literally getting destroyed, man. I'm lost for words, um, Crash Overdrive has literally taken this game to another level. Halbs, Eagles, Plumes, and it's crazy, man, um, the Halbs countered the Cavs, uh, you know, all kinds of crazy, all kinds of crazy. Uh, I just saw an Eagle Warrior teleport through gate, like seriously, I'm lost for words, not just because of that Eagle Warrior, that lone Eagle Warrior who decided to defy laws that are literally, s I'm, I'm just confused, man. Everything's going in Crash Overdrive's favor right now, he is absolutely blowing it away. And I don't know why Red really went for Arbalest after you even see the Eagles, like they're right in front of your fucking face and you still, you still decide that you want to just, you want to lose. You really want to lose if you really want to go for Arbalest against Eagle Warriors. That's like my, my number one thing. I never go Arbs against Eagles. And now the Trebuchet is coming in, trying to take down the wall, tear it down. It's all but over, man. Um, I have to say one more thing to Crash as crazy as it's been. I, I really, I don't have anything to say right now just because I'm 
It's, it's crazy. Um, now the Eagle Warriors taking care of the Arbalest Cavs. Uh, Cavaliers taking the taking care by the Halberdiers. Siege Workshop going down by two Eagles and a Hal. I mean, that's crazy. Um, five relics didn't matter, and that's crazy. Crash Overdrives now the champion. Um, I I really want to just let you know that's crazy that. Uh, Wow! Another few claps. He has to delete. Oh, he's making a, a town center. I thought it was. <laughs> I thought that was a castle. Are you pathetic? Oohs and ahs for the crowd are just. Oh my god! Now to his beloved imaginary girlfriend, we can all say the one message that we've always been waiting to say: Crash Overdrives. Any last words from this attack that you'd like to tell me right now? GG. And there, that, that's it, folks. That's it, folks. We have successfully completed our first episode of 1v1s. And that's it. That's all I have to say for this episode. I'm going to let the clip roll. And boom. It's over. It's over. And Crash Overdrive has won the game for the first time in his life. Uh, if you guys want to subscribe to me on YouTube, that's totally fine. I definitely prefer that over any other option. Uh, if you have anything to say to me, uh, comment down in the comment section below. Any more tutorials, requests, anything you want. AoE, geometries, I don't care. Good, good job. This time, four claps. That's the most I've ever done. And that's all I have to say. Crash Overdrive ending with 6,313 food. And... Like I said, it was all but over, and he took control of the game. Like, look at those plumed archers. There's a reason he won, man. Like, plumes are great. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Peace out, subscribe. This is your boy, Plumed Archer, and I'll see you in the next one.